is a really like unattractive way to start the weekly vlog. I'm like all smeary and like it's late and I look like crap but hi welcome to the 43rd weekly vlog and I think my penultimate one before I move to America which is ridiculous. I hope you're well and having a great start to the week or week whenever you're watching this. Thank you for tuning in, coming back, whatever you're doing, I don't know. It's Monday, it is the 10th of April and I leave for Disney World in 18 days. I'm still very unprepared. <laughs> um, today has been a day of working and YouTubing and more Disney prep. But like I should say now, I am not, I never do it anyway, I don't pressure myself to film but I'm really not pressuring myself to vlog at the moment because things are so busy and stressful and there's so much going on all over the place. If these vlogs are short, which I think they will be the last two that I'm going to do, I'm really sorry. Big life changes I'm kind of going through at the moment and the stuff that's happening. When I move to Disney the vlogs will be better because I'll be there and I'll be doing lots of fun things there. I'll try and show you as much of the prep as possible but to be honest it's just a lot of like admin -y sorting out and phone calls and then soon I'm gonna have to start packing. This week I have a very like boring week to be honest. I'm home tomorrow, Wednesday, I'm taking my nan to the hospital and then we might go to the crematorium because I want to go and put flowers down for my mum before I leave. Thursday I've got my hair cut, um, well I'll be getting a lot of hair cut off to save me getting it done for a while and going to the doctors. I'm working Friday, I'm off Saturday, I'm working Sunday. Still need to finish two trips of two series of vlogs i've got just two trips of, of disney vlogs to edit and then obviously packing and i would like to film um three videos before i leave i'm actually gonna go to bed now i'm sorry that i've already started this on a bad note i really am a terrible vlogger <laughs> but yeah i'll see you tomorrow good night oh hi camera that i've neglected all week because i am terrible welcome to Thursday of the weekly vlog. I'm sorry, I just think this is how it's going to be for the last two weeks I do this. I think I'm going to weekly vlog the rest of this week, which will go up on Monday, and then I'll weekly vlog next week, and then that'll be it. So the sort of Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday before I fly on the, the Friday, I won't film those days because it's going to be stressful. Um, but I've just been like a bit of a whirlwind of a hurricane the past few days I don't even I've had one of those weeks where I do not know what day it is so I filmed on Monday and I barely filmed anything on Monday I went out for dinner with my dad and stuff Tuesday what did I do on Tuesday I was at my laptop all day doing work um holiday work emails that stuff Wednesday yesterday I took my nan to the hospital in the morning for another appointment I feel like we live there um for her hand because you may know she's had a hand operation she's got the bandage taken off so that is healing and getting there but she's got a bit of a way to go and then we went to tesco's and did a big food shop i'm trying to get my nan to kind of like stock up on some things that she won't be able to easily get on her own because she won't go and do a big tesco shop and it's just her and then i went to the crematorium because i wanted to go and put some flowers down and see my mum's thing before I leave and in the evening I was supposed to edit my vlogs because I've got two series left to do of Disney vlogs um October and January but I was just so needed to do something fun and different so I just started writing a bucket list of places I want to eat in Disney World because that's priorities so like park by park <laughs> went through all of the menus because I'm sad so I've been using my bell notebook I was saving it for something special. Today's Thursday did I say that? I went to get my hair cut I've been doing admin things and I'm now off to the doctors so that's my day um and then I'm gonna do some YouTube work tonight I'm gonna force myself to get get started on the new vlogs once I get started I'm okay and I enjoy it it's just the actual getting started and the fact I still feel like I've got a lot of time when I don't I've only got two weeks tomorrow <laughs> and I should film two videos tonight I'm hoping to film maybe three I want to film a t-shirt haul because I've bought a lot of t-shirts lately um, I'd like to film a mini years collection but I don't know if I'm going to get time to do that and I want to film a little like I'm off to Disney World video we'll see I'll try and get what I done what I, what I done can what I can done really going well today isn't it anyway I will see you later goodbye I've just finished filming three videos and this is now what my life looks like where do I even begin with clearing all of this up if you can tell one of the videos I just filmed though three points to you <laughs> I've filmed three videos and done a little bit of sorting 
I've packed my ears up to take with me to Disney and it's just hit me how much I have to sort out so I'm a little bit stressed. Before I go to bed I just wanted to show you a few things that I've got through the post and stuff lately. First thing is this really cute gift that I got from someone I actually booked a holiday for through my job holiday hamster travel agency. A lovely lady called Jo for her daughter's birthday and she sent me this card saying we had an amazing time. How sweet is that? She also bought me this key ring which is incredibly kind of her. She didn't have to do that because I was just doing my job. But it's got Cinderella, Belle and Aurora and it is so cute. I've never seen this in Paris before and I love it. So Joe, if you do ever watch this, thank you so much because that is really sweet and I'm so glad that you had a good holiday. I have some new Minnie Mouse ears to show you. I'm so excited. They're from an absolute beautiful girl called Steph who is so talented. She sent me a really lovely note about her new Etsy shop and just it's really sweet I'm not going to read the note because it's personal he set up a new shop called Brookington Designs and I'll link it below because it's awesome these ears are some of the best ears I think I've ever seen especially considering she's like just started she's so talented and I'm so grateful for them because look at them oh my god they're insane I'm in love Steph you're amazing Brookington Designs go 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 watch and look and follow because they're just so beautiful. Only pair of live action ears that I have. She hand stitched and embroidered this design, which is insane with the outfits, the materials. It's just, I'm like speechless. And it's got the gold stitching down the side, which is like the embroidery on both Beast's jacket. And it's like kind of like the um, detail on Belle's dress. They're just, they're beautiful. I love them so much and they're really comfortable. They're really soft on your head. They don't Feel like they're gonna move anywhere and i'm in love so please go and follow her rookington design she's in the description box go give her some love because how talented is she the last thing is this very very cute mickey mouse card which i think is so sweet and it has come from i hope i'm saying it right nala it looks like nala to me and i'm sorry if i'm saying it wrong this is such a generous present this is a be our guest plaque and i think it is so so cute i would put this anywhere in the house actually i don't know where i'd put it it could go anywhere like by the front door in the kitchen i love the design with mrs potts and lumiere and chip and the writing is gorgeous it can stand up as well it's got like a little thing that you can use to make it stand up just really really beautiful and very elegant and i would put this anywhere in the home if i was allowed to fill the rest of our house with disney stuff i mean she was ridiculously generous i can't even believe i'm showing you this and sent me this which I don't really have the words for. This is my favourite perfume, Coco Mademoiselle Chanel. And she sent this to me, which is overwhelming and beyond generous. I don't have the right words to say thank you for this. I remember showing the, the empty bottle and being like, oh, I don't want to throw it away because it's so beautiful because the bottles are stunning, um, but I can't hold on to them forever. And she's very, sent very, very kindly sent me the 100ml of it which is ridiculously generous and I'm so grateful so thank you so so much because that is an incredibly generous gift I really know what to say so thank you thank you thank you thank you yeah what else can I say wow I'm a very lucky girl and I hope you know how grateful I am so thank you so much I am going to go and, and start editing the vlogs and videos I've just filmed. It's about 11 o'clock now and I might stay up for a few more hours and do some work. I am working at the O2 tomorrow and um, I need to just start cracking on now and doing some work every night before I go to sleep. So I'm going to do that because I have two weeks now, which is not very long. And I've got a lot of stuff to edit, but I will see you tomorrow. Hello, it is Friday. It feels like Saturday. I have no idea what day it is, where I am, what is going on. But I've just arrived at the O2, my third to last shift if that makes any sense i've got three shifts left today is diversity i'm on time i'm like all good it's, it's weird how i've started doing this as i'm leaving but you know what can you do but i'm off to work so i thought i'd just say hello check in and i'll see you after it is like half 12 i think i look a mess this is not a good look is it i'm just a mess just got home from work it was all right i just i'm ready to go now i'm done like, you know when you're just done and you're so close to something, but still far away. I've got two shifts left and I don't know what they're gonna be like. I finished with the Bruno's, Br Bruno's? Bruno Mars shift, which I think is gonna be busy. Um, and I've got a Harlem basketball thing on Sunday, which I've worked before, which I think is like basketball tricks. 
So only two left. I can do it. I can do it. It's not very many. I, it's fine, but I'm just done. It was okay tonight. I was working with someone really lovely and it kind of was not too bad. It was diversity, the dance troupe, but there wasn't very many people there. So it was quite quiet. And I've just been coming home listening, still listening to the My Favourite Murder podcast. I think I'm on like episode 45 ish and they do an episode it was like there's like 45 episodes obviously and then i've done quite a lot of like mini episodes as well so i have binged listened to this podcast i'm quite obsessed it's really really good i feel like every spare minute i have at the moment should be video editing because i've got so many vlogs to edit plus i've got three youtube video youtube mm, great three like sit down videos to edit i just I'm stressed. I just need to get it done, but like I don't want to, which is, I don't mean it lazy, as lazy as it sounds. I just, I'm stressed, so I want to spend my free time relaxing, but I don't have free time to do that. I have something happening every single day now until I leave because it is two weeks today. This time in two weeks, I will be in Orlando in my hotel room. I'm going to go inside and get in bed. I'll see you tomorrow. Good night. It's been Saturday today. Hello, happy Saturday. I, this has been one of those weeks where I don't know what day it is or anything. It's Saturday and it is 4.48pm and I'm with my father. That was a hello from my father. Um, and oh, hello. Sorry. <laughs> Sorry. Apologies. And um, we're off to London. To Here's this, who's playing? West Ham. West Ham. Are they losing? Of course they're not. They normally are. We're off to London because we're going on an adventure. Um, we're off to Agrabah, which is exciting. We're off to see Aladdin in London. I'm really looking forward to it. Um, I would say my wish was granted and I'm off to see it one more time. Thanks to the lovely Trevor. I'm really, really looking forward to it and I get to see him once more because obviously, well, I don't know if he'll be there or not when I get back, but um, he is awesome. You, Dad saw him when we went to that show thing last year, the Royal Abbott Hall Broadway hits thing, um, but you've not actually seen Aladdin. So it'll be really, really good. I'm really looking forward to it. It's like my last little dose of Disney magic before I move to the magic, which is very exciting. So it's going to be good fun. We're going to get something to eat before and go and see the show. I'm really excited. Are you excited? I am very excited. Do you remember the story of Aladdin? I remember it's about a little lad with a... What a lamp, isn't it? A little lad with a lamp. And a carpet. And a carpet. What's the princess's name? Princess Aladdin's girlfriend. Jasmine. Jasmine, that's it. <laughs> that's not as bad as my nan who used to think that the genie was the evil character. We have made it. We're going to pick up our tickets. We're having Chinese. Time to go and see the show. Are you excited? I'm very excited. We are in the fourth row on the dress circle. Look at this. <coughs> really lovely theatre. It's like really open and like airy, which I like. <laughs> Look at the empty theatre. Look, we're in here. Look at it. It, it. I don't even know what time it is. It's like 11. I bet I say it's 11 something. It's going to be like midnight, isn't it? Yeah, 17 minutes past 12, I was wrong. The show was so good. It really is a fantastic show. That was my third time seeing it. I think I saw it in maybe July and August last year, something like that. I did it when the lottery was still at the theatre. Now the lottery is online, so it's a lot harder to win it. It's a really good show. It's fantastic. It's so fun. It's one of those shows that like transports you to a complete other place like and it's so bright and colourful the music is amazing all of the songs are really good I don't think there's any songs in that show that I'm like oh this is boring or I don't really enjoy that one I like all of them or sometimes I find with shows there's like one song that I'm like not a fan but it's so good and just such an infectious happy amazing magical show that I love very very much and I'm so happy and grateful to my friend Trevor that I got to go and see it again it was incredibly kind of him and when I last saw it like we'd just become friends and now seeing it I don't know what we I don't know we've been friends for a few months now I was really proud of him because he's just insane you'll know if you've seen the show he is the show basically he is the star of the show he's the best thing in the show I felt really proud watching him be so amazing and my dad loved it as well he thought it was fantastic he really enjoyed it afterwards we very kindly got to go backstage which was really special and magical got a picture with trevor in his genie gear which was very cool i'll show you that on here it was sad because it was like the last time i'm gonna see trevor 
for a while. He's an absolute sweetheart, one of my favourite people. Very grateful to him for tonight. He didn't have to do that. It was very generous of him. And I had the best time. It's just the best show. So if you've seen it, let me know and let me know what you thought. If you haven't seen it, go and see it. It's just so, so good. I want to go to bed, but I can't. I need to edit vlogs and things. So I'm going to do that now. Tomorrow is Sunday. This has been an incredibly long week and tomorrow is finally Sunday and I've got my penultimate shift at the O2. So I'm going to get editing. <laughs> Good night. Hello, it's Sunday and I've not filmed anything today, obviously. I've just got back from work at the O2. It's my penultimate shift, which is quite exciting. Today it was the Harlem Globe Trotters, which is kind of like a basketball thing. They don't really... Well, they do play basketball, but it's more like tricks basketball. And it was very quiet, much like the other day. Very quiet, not very busy. I have to do it because I'm desperate for the money. But I was like standing there thinking, there are so many other things I need to be doing right now and could be doing. Which is frustrating when you're like, I need this money. But I also need the time. I've got one more shift there next week on Tuesday and that's me done. So it's very weird. It's kind of the end of an era. I've been there for like... I know, like four and a half years. That's a big part of my life on and off there doing casual work because it's a zero hour job. Um, and it has worked out really well for me, but I'm definitely ready to leave it behind and move on to other magical things. And just the one more shift to go, which is actually Bruno Mars. So I think it will be quite a busy one. So next week's vlog will be my last weekly vlog, which is very sad because I've actually really loved doing this. I guess I've been probably vlogging like this or daily vlogging in some way kind of on and off for about a year-ish I'd say maybe maybe just under a year which is a long time I'm quite sad that I won't be doing it like this anymore so when I'm in Florida I'll just kind of be uploading as and when because I just don't know what my life's going to be like I won't be able to commit to like one video a week on a Monday because I just don't know what it's going to be like for me so um yeah I've got one more weekly vlog to do which is a weird feeling exciting and scary I don't know I'm rambling away but I'm sorry I haven't really filmed as much this week I've got something happening every day now until I leave so uh, I will show you next week but I I know that you guys won't mind and that you'll understand because you know what my life is like crazy it's just crazy at the moment but it's been a really fantastic week it's been a very long week i really haven't been able to keep track this week of what day is what where i am what i've been doing obviously yesterday was the absolute highlight of my week going to see aladdin was fantastic nostalgia is a big part of it so if you're like a 90s kid like me you would have grown up with aladdin or if you're the father or the parent of a 90s kid like my dad you'll have grown up with aladdin next week i'm going to have to say goodbye to my friend amber and my Disneyland Paris friends. I don't know if I'll be emotional about it as such because it genuinely, honestly, hand on heart, none of this seems real. Like, I feel like it's all a massive joke. The day before, it's going to be a ha ha, you're not actually coming. Like, it doesn't seem real life. I don't know what next week's going to be like, apart from it being really busy. I've got a family meal on Monday for the Easter bank holiday. I've got work on Tuesday, my last shift. I'm going into London on Wednesday. I'm seeing friends Wednesday evening. I'm seeing Amber Thursday. I'm prepping. I've tried to keep Friday free to prep because I've got a princess party on Saturday and I'm seeing my friends on Saturday and then I've got family Sunday roast on the Sunday because it's my last Sunday and then it's the week I move. I'm going to go inside and go to bed and edit <laughs> and just do all the things I have to do. Thank you so much for watching this week. I very, very much hope that you have enjoyed the snippets I've got to show you. And I hope you don't mind it's not as much and not as great as all the other people that do all the vlogs on the internet. I cannot think of a question of the week. So I'm genuinely on conversationstarters.com, which is a random, like, generator of questions and i'm just gonna randomly generate a question because i am that crap of a vlogger and a person that i can't think of a question so let's just randomly generate and see what we get what is your favorite smell i, I can't even answer that myself i really like the smell of petrol is that weird let me know if what you what your favorite smells are do you like the smell of petrol do you like to sing out loud when no one else is around obviously that's the best thing about driving. What is the best thing that happened to you this week? That's a good question. I'd like to know that. Mine was obviously Aladdin. What is the first thing you do in the morning? Sadly, mine is check my phone because I am that social media addict person. What is the last thing you do before you go to sleep? Check my phone once again. This has become a Q&A. I'm just, I just, I'm intrigued by this. Last one. 
Would you rather go a year without junk food or a year without TV? Probably will say a lot about me as a person, but I would much rather, and I would easily, happily go a year without TV. I don't really watch TV anymore. Does Netflix count? That doesn't count as TV, does it? I've watched a bit of Netflix here and there, but I just watch YouTube. Uh, to be fair, I don't even watch much YouTube. I have no time to watch things. I would give up TV and continue to eat my body weight in bad food because I'm a terrible person. Answer some of those questions. I'm really intrigued as to yours as well. That was such a random website. I love you very, very much. You're awesome people. Thank you for being so kind. All of my social media is in the description box. Come and follow me before I move to Disney World so you can keep up with me on all those places where I will be much more active every day, all the time, especially Snapchat and Instagram. I love you very much and I will see you next week for a last weekly vlog. There'll be a video on the Wednesdays and the Disney vlog on Fridays. Bye! <laughs>